Wonderful people, viewers and subscribers, you're welcome back again. I just want to sound this as a notice. It is a red flag because we in Nigerians, we are at risk of everything because of the impunity of the system. Nigerians are exposed to all manner of dangers and this is the dumping ground of every rubbish in the name of importation. This one a rubber rice that I just saw and I want to bring it to your notice. Uh -huh. This is the demonstration. The food will serve for canteen. Today. today, today, afternoon, it will be this. People will they believe say Take it, take it. Uh, people really they believe say rubber rice day, you know. This will be the proof for you. See, rice where you meow, your palm inside, they clean, nothing. You need to fill anything for your palm. See, rice. You will they cook, see, human being for chop. This one, if you go enter your intestine inside. And I hope you palm in see. How many? See, nothing. I need to wear anything, you know. How long this rice go day your stomach is out before it go to digest? Hmm? Bim be this. You really they believe. See? They bounce. They bounce. Food. Rice. You know, be, you chop this thing, you know go die quick. Before you go see no gone too soon. What a shock. Hmm? Try and bake. Yo. So you know you pussy, you they believe say proper rice day. It didn't be this. It didn't. This is it, oh, this is it. Proper rice. Proper rice. Rice. Rice ball. This is rice ball. Proper rice ball. Proper rice ball. Proper rice ball. Five big man go. Even the go. Yo, thank you. You are clean as you must go. Mm. Make a present. Uh, the same one. That is it. In a country where you have the, what they call son, standard um, organization of Nigeria, that is supposed to supervise everything that is being imported in this country. No, they will collect a bribe and allow it to come into Nigerian market and Nigerians will be feeding with rubber. You can imagine what this kind of a thing will do to your intestine. You can imagine the pressure this will be will be imposing on your digestive system where your digestive system is trying to grind rubber in the name of food you call rice. The same is applicable if you come inside for Nigeria. We're no longer talking about the imported ones. Even right inside Nigeria, the kind of concussion people are getting themselves involved with in adulteration of edible things, juice, drinks, what have you? You go messy and pity Nigerians. Me self, <laughs> with a drink, juice, you got. Name them. I see this one, I shock. Because God knows where and how these things. Especially buying from these roadsiders, these street sellers, these um, traffic hawkers. Buying from them, <laughs> you are just signing your debt warrant. I just want to make I tell Nigerians because they are the ones that are good patrons or patronizers of this very kind of products, roadside um, manufacturers selling on the roadside because you cannot find them. You cannot if you discover anything, you cannot trace them. So, for your own good, I just say, make I bring this one to you. This is just the dividend of bad governance. Because when everything is in a mess, everybody to yourself and God for all of us. That is the situation we find ourselves. So, people are just out there. Since the politicians are doing anyhow, and nobody talks, who cares? Everyone is doing anyhow, who cares? And nobody will even accost them. Oh, if you catch them today, they will bribe their way out and continue tomorrow. Now you will be Nigerian people, will be the consumers. Now we're not going to collect. If this one collects, give another person. Another person go collect, give another one. Now so will they live for this country. God have mercy on us. May God have pity on this country. Nigerians, everything boils around good governance. And also, in order to curb this madness, in order to change the narrative, our cooperative have stood out to encourage genuine people 
who wants to make a living through good and legitimate process. We encourage people with loans, soft loans with at 3%. We've encouraged farmers. We've encouraged a whole lot of activities to ensure that we empower the ordinary people. Because why you are seeing all this mess is because people are desperate to survive. So our cooperative is helping in changing the narrative. Especially those of you living in abroad. You can encourage what we're doing by investing in our cooperative. You are not giving us donation. We have I've told my people we will never collect any donation on this platform anymore. We will go through our cooperative and use them to economically empower the people so that they can actually, so that we can cushion the if the impact of bad governance on the people and the desperate measures people are taking for survival. For our own good, though, because I'm doing it for my own good, who knows? We are, are we buying the next drink and <laughs> the content it will be made of. So the same as you, you have your people around here. Support what we are doing through our corporate. Call our numbers and you get more information about what we are doing. So that more people, if we have a thousand persons on our cooperative, I tell you, we can decide who, the, who, who, who is the governor of Anambra State. The same is applicable to all other states in the southeast to start with, then across Nigeria. So GGM Cooperative through GGM Good Governance Ministry of which I am the presiding bishop, <laughs> we are not giving up to ensure that we get good governance for our people, for our own good. Bye-bye for now. Help me share this video. What's your thought on this?